Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So we will have another Q&A video. And today's topic is about capillary pressure. Right, so we have a very interesting question in front of us. And I use a case from Tarek Ahmed book, Reservoir Engineering Handbook. This is a very important and interesting book for reservoir engineers. Right, and this is the case of capillary pressure that we need to solve. All right, so the case is like this. The reservoir capillary pressure and saturation data of the oil reservoir is shown graphically down there Yeah. All right, but I'm going to show it later. And then from the geophysical log interpretations and the core analysis, we have the water oil contact at 5023 in feet, all right, 5023 in feet. That's our WOC, water oil contact. And we also have another or other data, such as oil density, 43.5 pound per cubic foot, and then water density, 64.1, and also interfacial tension, okay, 50. And then now we need to estimate or calculate the Connaught water saturation, SWC, and then also the depth to FWL or free water level, thickness of the transition zone, and depth to reach 50% of water saturation. Okay, so we have, you know, only this data, water oil and contact depth, oil density, water density, interfacial tension, but we need to address these issues. Corner water saturation, and then free water level, and, and then thickness of the transition zone, and depth to reach 50% of water saturation. And by the way, we also have this plot. Okay, I'm going to use, okay, just some polishing. All right, so now we have the capillary pressure curve. So PC in PSI against water saturation, of course. And then we know that the water oil contact depth is at 50 to 3. And then, of course, somewhere down there, we have the free water level. All right, and just using this, the available data as well as this capillary pressure curve, now we need to deal with these issues. And of course, we also have very important equations, right? Like how to calculate the free water level if you know the water level contact. We are going to use this. So FWL equals to WOC, water level contact, plus 144 multiplied by PD divided by delta rho. Okay. And then PD is the displacement pressure. And then this is the density difference. All right. And of course, water, water, free water level and water oil contact. And then we need also, or we are going also to use this H. H is height above free water level. And then PC and then density difference. Okay, by the way, this displacement pressure, it's, it's, it's very important. So displacement pressure is the finite capillary pressure at 100% water saturation that is necessary to force the non-wetting phase into a capillary field with the wetting phase, all right? And then this PD occurs here at this point. So the capillary pressure at this point where the, the curve changes the trajectory, this capillary pressure at this point is called displacement pressure. All right, this is the minimum capillary pressure at 100% water saturation that is required to force the non wetting phase, in this case oil, into a capillary field with the wetting phase. 
or the water, right? Or in other words, it's the minimum capillary pressure that is required, that is necessary to kick the oil out of the pores so that the water can occupy the entire room and then reach 100% water saturation. Okay, so that's the thing. And of course, now we need to solve everything.